Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. Oh, I can't wait to dive in tonight. It's a real special night here. It is single barrel, barrel strength, store picks. In other words, low to moderate availability single barrel, barrel strength bourbons. All right, so it's going to be a good and a hot night. We got the fire going and the whiskey proofs are high tonight. So let's take a look at the contenders. First up tonight, Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength Bourbon. This one in particular is from Chambers Wine and Liquor. For those now, this I think this is somewhat important to Old Forester Single Barrel Bourbon Aficionados. This one is Warehouse H. Floor 4. Coming in at 127.2 proof. Which is compute, compute, 63.60% alcohol by volume. What a beautiful bottle. For anyone that loves Old Forester, what a beautiful bottle. Price on these bad boys, uh, typically mid 80s to 90, sometimes 100. Um, that's kind of where they go. Not available in the great state of Pennsylvania, at least I have not seen one yet. We got the gold seal up here, obviously broken already. Any fun facts in the back? Let's take a look. Well, there's a, there's a little bit of writing here that basically says, after the repeal of Prohibition, my grandfather, George Garvin Brown II, developed the single barrel expression of Old Forester specifically for bourbon aficionados. So that's what we have here for bourbon aficionados. Um, so anyway, this tonight, again, it's like kind of moderate to low availability. Now, obviously if you pick up a store pick, single barrel, barrel strength, your results may vary, but I'm hoping to give just kind of an overall flavor profile for you. See which one's the best, uh, which one should you spend the most effort hunting for, right? That's what we're going for tonight. All right, next up, none other than Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof. Store pick here from the great shopping kings at the Somerville Super Saver. That's right. This is a grocery store Jack Daniels pick. Price on these shelf versions, 66 bucks in PA. Sometimes you can find them for less. I think the price on this bad boy was 67 big ones. And uh, she's probably worth every penny. So, big fan of the JD on this channel, uh, as you might know if you watch other videos. So, we'll see how this one uh, scores tonight. Now, this one comes in at 127.4 proof. Compute 63.7% alcohol by volume. So, very close to our old Forester single barrel back there. Um, other than that, I don't think too many people care um, exactly how where these barrels come from but if you do this comes from Rick L 31 bottled on 4721 and it is barrel number 21-21019 so these are hitters especially for the for the low low price that they come in at last but not least the great four roses single barrel barrel strength so for those that don't know, there is a cheap like $35, $45 bottle of Old Forester Single Barrel that's 100 proof, and there's always the recipe OBSV. However, those in the know know that the best four roses are the single barrels at barrel strength, and those can only be had in store pick form. So tonight, this bad boy here comes in at 63.5% alcohol by volume, which is, geez, I need a calculator for this, comes in at 127 proof. So we got all three 
at 127. I mean, whew, cannot wait. Basically, all three are at 127. Now, this does matter quite a deal. This is like a, I don't know, we'll call it tier four, tier five. I'm, I'm not sure how the four roses quite go, but the proof on this is quite high at 127. Now, this was selected by Fine Wine and Good Spirits. That's right, this is a PA selection. This is the 47th edition, the 47th single barrel they've done of these. Um, and this is the recipe OESV, which is the low rye recipe, which is 20% rye. Their, their high rye is 35%. Now, you ready for this? Aged 11 years and 5 months. Hold up. That is an old Four Roses pick. Most of them are only like the 9 to 10 year range. You hardly see any that are 11 years and 5 months old. So, quite excited for this. And of course, this bottle. Look at this beautiful and embossed glass Four Rose and the leather, you know, neck keeper here. Can't wait. Now, it also does say on here, Delicate Fruit is the name of this OESV. So, if you don't know, I'll put a little picture up. Uh, these these can be had in any one of the 10 recipes. It's kind of luck of the draw. But uh, OESV on here says, delicate, fruity, fresh, and creamy. That's a description from Four Roses. So we'll see if that pans out. Now, I had a little help in procuring all three of these. So it's time to give thanks to those that helped. The Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength came from my buddy David. David, I really appreciate the help in tracking that down. Um, they can be pretty hard to come by. And then, no stranger to being a friend of this channel, O'Sheen Hayes helped me out with the Jack Daniels uh, Single Barrel up there. And then lastly, uh, Trenton, another friend of the channel, thank you buddy for the help with the Four Roses. So. That's why we call these kind of moderate to low availability. Um, depending on where you live, you're not going to be able to walk into your store and grab any one of these. But I'll say they're common enough that if you're really into bourbon and you're interested to try them with a little bit of work, you can find a version of them. Maybe not those particular ones. So without further ado, let's get into the tasting. All right, my wife poured these blind, so I have no idea which is which. But you will. It'll be on the screen and, and right, probably right about here. Um, I'll put what it is. First up, the blue glass. Let's give it a quick swirl. And let's put our nose in it. Oh my god. All right, first of all, there's going to be no losers tonight. We will rank these. It will be extremely hard. Every single one of these is top tier deliciousness. I'm just going to put, put that out there before we start. Oh, jeez. I mean, we're, we're drinking top-notch bourbon here tonight. I get like a vanilla cream spice. Oak. I'm getting some fruits on the front of this. Red fruits. Oh, the nose is fantastic. Let's take a sip. She's hot. Tons of caramel. Some oak in the background. Just a ton of red fruits on this palette. Very creamy. Very like vanilla. Man, that is a... That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's take one more sip. What would we rate that? Probably an eight and a half to a nine out of 10. That's how good that was. First one off the bat, just a lot of those same notes came up again. Excellent. Mm. Hope they're all this good. All right, class number two, the green Glen Karen. Let's give it a whiff. All right, instantly there's like a darker wood character to this, darker oak. Not nearly as sweet as uh, the first class. Also, a little bit 
less complex in the terms of flavor. This is very much like an oak, it's drier, some wood notes, some barrel char on this one. Let's take a sip. Wow, again on the palate, not as sweet. Big pop of like the red fruits though in the palate. Doesn't drink nearly as hot as the first glass. And the finish is a little short um, on that glass. But boy is it good. It's still very good. I think just uh, off the first rip though, it's not quite as good as the blue glass. So let's take one more sip. Yeah, we're, start, we're starting to get a few more sweet notes on this. Um, and like I said, there is some fruit on it too, but just it's not as creamy and it's not as vanilla as the first one. Oh, now it's starting to open up. Wow. Okay, it took two sips to get to the, to peel back the layers of that onion. A ton, a metric ton of fruit on that second sip as I savored it. The heat started to build a little bit better in the back end. Very good. But less vanilla still. All right. The third one, the gold, Glenn Karen. Let's take a sniff. Uh-oh. I think we know what this is. I off the nose, I'm calling this one Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. The overwhelming scent of banana, banana nut bread, charred barrel, brown sugar, and oak. The telltale banana hallmark of JD. Now, sometimes Old Forester, I get banana on Old Forester as well. I didn't get banana on, on any of the other two, so I honestly don't know what the other two are. Um, but I think I know what this is. All right, let's take a sip. Wow. Straight deliciousness again. It's a it's a candy banana with caramel. You just you just peeled that banana, sprinkled caramel on top or squirted it, whatever if you got the bottle. Delicious. And then what's that? Grandma's baking some banana nut bread next to that. That's exactly what we're tasting here with a little bit of oak and char. Excellent finish, excellent mouthfeel. Delicious. Um, I'm going to call that one as the JD. Now, so I'll go back through these in reverse order and we'll come back with the rankings and what I think they are. All right, we're back. So I went through these again off camera just to save a little bit of time on this video. And we had some changes in the ranking uh, a good bit. Going back through these. In reverse order revealed some new flavors so I'm going to touch on just a few quick flavors out of these and what I think they were so in last place is the gold Glen Karen delicious banana nut bread banana flavor we already said it I think it's a Jack Daniels it's very good let's keep in mind it's it's roughly $30 less than anything else here so keep that in mind and it hung in there these were so close all, all three very close um, I just thought the banana flavor was delicious, but there's a little bit of ethanol heat to it that didn't necessarily add to it, if you know what I'm saying. A lot of those original notes on the blue glass, there started to be a few youth notes in there, and the blue glass was by far the hottest. So this was by far the hottest, um, even though these were only 0.4 proof off from one another, from the hottest to the least hottest. This was by far the hottest, and it, it, just, it just took your tongue and twisted it with proof at the end which I like proof but I like proof because it adds flavor and towards the end this didn't add flavor it just it just got your tongue with some proof I believe this was actually the old Forrester barrel strength single barrel barrel strength I think that's what this is I could be wrong and what I put in first place tonight was a green glass the least hot up of the three keep in mind the same proof it brought a ton of fruit it at first sip, it smelled just a little bit oakier and drier, but on that second sip, man, the fruit bomb exploded. And when I went back through, just more fruits and perfect oak mingled with the fruits really did a great job. Provided the most complexity, 
without punishing heat. So I believe this was actually the Four Roses, but again, could be totally wrong, but I think this was the Four Roses. Let me grab the answer key and see how we did tonight. All right, I've got the trusty answer key here. In last place, the Gold Glen Karen was the Jack Daniels. And so, because there's only three. In first place, the Green Glen Karen was the Four Roses. So, I nailed them. And the blue one was, of course, Old Forester Barrel Strength. All three of these worth a buy. These are fantastic. But the Four Roses tonight was a home run. So, whew, all three delicious. Uh, but the winner tonight, the Four Roses. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I want to thank everybody. Uh, a few episodes ago, we talked about reaching, you know, 200 subscribers. I think as of this video, we're like 220. Thank you, everybody. You're really helping us move us forward. We're shooting for that 1,000, but I realize that's a little bit off. So let's help get the 300. If you like these videos and you watched us, just please hit the subscribe button. It's free for you to do so. So thank you, everybody. Have a great evening.